Welcome to A Cup of Conversation on BRT TV. I'm your host, John Guzzi, and this week in the studio, we have three great friends joining us on the TV talking about a very important group of people. We're talking about the Rotary Club of Kyrenia Cosmopolitan. And recently they had an event in Lefkosha, we'll talk about that. And they've got lots to share with us, so let's welcome Huck there and also husband and wife team, Ben and Aiten Benoit. Welcome to the programme, guys. Thank you. Uh, for you, uh, Mr. Huck you've been here before on the television with me. That's right. And it's great to have you back again. I think it was last year you were here. Yes, yes, just, just less, than, less than one year, maybe. Less than one year ago. And it's great to have you back in the studio again. Thank you. Thank welcome you. back. And newcomers to my programme, new friends, Aitan and Ben, welcome to the programme. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, let's start with you, uh, Hakabe. Uh, we all know you because you are very famous representing uh, the TRNC in London for many years. Uh, you are a businessman, you are a great uh, friend of everyone here. When were you in the UK? How long did you stay there? I stayed there for five years, I mean, 1996 till 2001. Mm -hmm. But of course, before that, I was sent to a boarding school many years before that. So I studied at the boarding school and then I went to university and worked in London. And then I decided to come back to Cyprus in 1985 and join our Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Right. Uh, after joining the, the ministry, I worked my way up. And then in 1996, I was sent back to London. So in all, I lived in England for almost 25 years of my life. Well, a very long time. A long time? Yes. And here you are now back in the TRNC. Right. And you are a member of the Kyrenia Cosmopolitan. I'm, I'm actually the president this year. You're the president I'm, this I'm year? I'm the president this year. Congratulations. Thank Very you. Very good. Well, I mean, we work as a team. So unless you have a team working for you, you cannot have success. And we're, we're yeah. lucky that we've got a very uh, good team. And uh, we managed to have many projects that we will get into later on in the program. But yeah. uh, uh, I must say that we're doing something good for the community. I know you are. And, and that is very pleasing. And uh, Rotary needs to be explained to people because some people think that Rotary is a rich man's club. But it isn't. It isn't. <laughs> we have people from all walks of life and we go out our way to help the community and we will go on to the projects uh, to explain what we have done, it's, it's gratifying. It is very good, and I was a Rotary actor, which is the younger group mm -hmm. of Rotary, years ago, uh, when I was still eligible to be a Rotary actor, because you have to be of a certain age. If you're older, then you go into the Rotary. I never went into the Rotary, but I know th uh, there are many groups, uh, and your group is one of the uh, uh, also prominent groups in Guinea. And I'd like to say thank you to I-10, uh, for making this interview happen, because you contacted us here at BRT. You, you were the sort of instigator of this right. uh, interview. Yes. And uh, even though you are not, and I didn't realise this, I thought you were, but you're not really officially a Rotary no. or Rotarian, are you? No, I'm a friend of the Rotary. My husband is the Rotarian. Yes. And I just follow him around, I think. So. She's, she's actually registered as friend of Rotary. Right, so you can, you can be, there's an official title of right. friend of. I mean, which is a sort of uh, almost a member. Almost. Uh, because, uh, yes. Not quite. That's right. But we'll find out why in a minute. But I want to say uh, hello to Ben as well. Hi there. And um, it's Ben and Aiten Benoit. And I believe, uh, obviously, Aiten, we know from you, from your name, that you are uh, Turkish, Turkish Cypriot. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, you are married to uh, Ben, and Ben, you are, I mean, Ben Y is such a lovely name, yep. and uh, a bit French in origin, French in descent. So different. where are you from originally, I'm from your the, family? My parents are from Dominica, a yeah. French island, uh, which, was, which was conquered by the British. So it, they actually speak Patois, which is broken French and English mixed together. Yeah. Interesting, but you were born and brought up in the UK. That's in London, right. yes. and that's how you met. How did you meet, by the way? A bit of a personal question here, but how did you meet we, I-10? We were both working for Haringey at, at the time on, on, a, on a community pro project, and uh, I spent about a, a, go, a good part of 10 years working in Haringey, and then we were working together on, on a project in the youth services, and uh, we, we end up getting together, managing programs together. So I think we've worked as a husband and wife team in the UK as well <laughs> for, for, for a great many years. So, uh, so we obviously do something right working together. 
Yeah. So hence, I'm now a, a part of the role tree, and she basically supports everything that I do. Yeah. Great team effort. Yeah. Absolutely. A absolutely. Yeah. I mean, one of the projects that we that we that we recently done was the uh, the garden project, and all the logistics of, of making that happen behind the scenes. It is a one-day event, the garden party, but there's so much work that goes behind it. Getting the axe, we had a, yeah. a, 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 a DJ Salsera come, come there. Yeah. Uh, the seating arrangements, uh, preparing all the food, well, along with the members also, because every, every member pr prepares a dish and uh, to, to bring that along. Uh, preparing the actual garden itself, to making sure everything is, is up, up and ready, the decoration of the actual the garden. So many things behind the scene. So this is where we work together. Aitin just says, do this, do that. <laughs> and you did it. <laughs> As a normal marriage, in a normal marriage, you know, the, the wife says, you do this, and the husband says, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> no, joking aside though, you're a great team and yeah. uh, it works well. Uh, you're both smiling happy. Um, I think you were saying to me that you came to live in Cyprus now permanently four years ago. That's is that right. right? Yes. So what brought you here? I mean, that's another personal question, but normally we ask those who came um, from abroad. I mean, I've been here 25 years. I came out after I uh, finished university with my family, but what brought you here to the TRNC? Okay. Um, every year that we used to come here on holiday, we both knew that we loved the island and we wanted to buy ourselves a holiday home. Hmm. Um, but then what happened, my father passed away. And shortly after my father passed away, my mother was diagnosed with cancer and it was terminal. So we had a decision to make. One of the choices was for my mother to move to England with us, with her two dogs, or for us to move to Cyprus. Um, my mother always hated being in England she, because we would both be at work and she'd be inside the house, whereas in Cyprus, yeah. she has her freedom, etc. Um, so to cut a long story short, that was the instigator. Um, I'd like to also say that I'm really uh, happy and grateful for my husband um, for uh, not thinking twice, um, allowing us to sell whatever we needed to, um, to say goodbye to his family over there, and for us to move here to be with my mother which I think we've done the best thing that we could have done. Yes, a good decision. That's right. Is that right, Ben? Absolutely. The, the, the lifestyle over in Cyprus is unbelievable. It, it's, it's great, yeah. So do I gather then that, in a way, uh, you know, fate brought you here? Mm -hmm. Although a lot of people come here later on in life and they retire and they come out here. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that you're not really fully working anymore. Obviously, you're not working in Harringay anymore. You're, you're right. living here. <laughs> but um, you're busy with the Rotary. That's what I see. Because, yeah. Ben, you've been with the Rotary now for about two and a half years, That's you right. said? two and a half years. And uh, I think I think that, you know, uh, they're behind the scenes, a friend yeah. of, but I think soon. And she just recently heard when we did a radio interview earlier on that she'd be invited to be a committee member next year. So that's a new thing for you. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Hakamuth is out there. But, uh, so you're keeping yourself busy here. Absolutely. So how do you find out about uh, the Rotary Club, the Cosmopolitan one in Guinea, Ben? Well, I usually go for a walk every day with my dog in the Kashika area by the sea. And uh, I met up with Malcolm, which is a, an ex-president of the actual club. And he invited me to attend a, a meeting at the Rotary Club. So I attended the three, four meetings. And uh, after that, he invited me to become a member and I was really impressed with the ethos service above self the work that they were doing in the community yeah. reaching out to the vulnerable people etc uh, and giving back yeah and also the the hum humanitarian side of, as well the eradication of polio etc worldwide yeah so those things that that basically pushed me and I really liked the uh, the, the people the events that they, they put on, the networking. Yeah, but that's what done it for me, really. It is good. Good meeting good people. It's a nice, you know, family atmosphere yeah. when you have your meetings. And I know, Hakkabe, uh, you were saying on the radio when we had our interview that there's about 30 members. Yes, yes. And um, of different nationalities, not just Turkish Cypriots. Right. That's right. You know, people. That's right. Uh, like Ben, for instance, well, from the UK, I mean, you know, from different nationalities, from different uh, areas of the world. Um, 
Tell us a bit about the meetings, because you, you meet regularly, don't you, about twice a month? Yes, we do. We meet every second Saturday of the month and the, the last, the fourth Saturday of the month mm -hmm. at 2.30 at uh, Merritt Park Hotels. Yeah. And um, I think I'm right in saying that we have more women members than men yeah. in our club. That's good. I mean, certainly in my board, I have six or seven iron ladies to contend with. <laughs> <laughs> You're and lucky. they all work very hard. And uh, the, the meetings are uh, jovial meetings. I mean, we have some fun as well. Uh, we have a, a, a lady member who's Dutch, and we play games at a point of the, uh, a certain point of the, the meeting. So it's not all serious. I mean, you've got to have fun. Yeah, that of is, course. That is important. Mm -hmm. But uh, when we get on to explaining the projects, because we do concentrate and discuss what we intend to do at the meetings, right. and have the approval of the, uh, the assembly before we go on to implement a project, which is very, very important. We have to do it according to certain rules and regulations of Rotary International. Yes. And um, now and again, we have speaker meetings where we invite distinguished people to come and speak to us. Uh, the last uh, speaker we had was the Chief Justice Narin Ferdi Shefik, who came and spoke to us on uh, uh, women's rights, but in a historical uh, background of it ah, as well. Interesting. So I, I think you were. I wasn't you, at the meeting. You were not no. there, but Ben was. He was very, very interesting. Yes, he said. Very, very interesting. Uh, how uh, uh, the hu human rights and women's rights have improved over the years. Very interesting. Yeah. yeah. Very interesting topic. Mm. Now, the last event you had was at the beginning of June, and on the 1st of June, on Saturday the 1st of June, there was a concert, uh, a help concert. This was raising money for the over-18 Karakum Guinea Rehabilitation Centre, and all Jan Bashadu gave a concert at the Kumar Jalhana, that's the Gambes Inn in Lefkosha, with also support from DJ Salsero once again, and uh, Hassan Gunyuz, and uh, the concert was raising awareness and raising money for this uh, centre. So I'm sure that that was a great event. But how do you decide what events to do and who for? There are so many different associations and groups and charities and people in need here. Uh, how do you decide, Huckabee, we, what's next? I who mean, to help? We, we, we have members who come in with ideas. Yeah. And uh, we, we choose from those ideas. Um, in fact, the special needs school in, in Lefke is an ongoing project. I mean, we started with that, and, and last year we completed a room for them with air conditioning, with desks, and mm -hmm. uh, special glass for the special needs uh, children, which cost quite a lot. Because uh, if you have normal glass, they could go through it. With this strengthened glass, they can't. Yeah. So they can't safer. hurt themselves. It's mm -hmm. safer. Uh, we, we built that room with the help of the Merit Group and other sponsors. And now it's functioning. And we're very, very proud of that. Uh, this year, we've completed their, their kitchen. Uh, they, they had an old kitchen. And all the cupboards and everything was taken out. And now we have a new kitchen there with two adjoining rooms done as well. And uh, we will have the opening of that, uh, hopefully, before July. Ah. I mean, it's finished, but we, we have to arrange the, the opening. Right, that's so, good. Brand new kitchen with sinks and everything uh, finished. Um, we've, we're also helping the 18 plus in Karakum. I mean, that's the, the, the project, the garden project that uh, Aiten and Ben had. Uh, the garden project was very, very successful. Uh, a lot of hard work, by the way. I mean, I think Ben was pointing out earlier on that I mean, you have it for two, three hours or four hours, whatever, the garden party. But the thing is, a lot of work goes in behind the scenes. Yes, a lot of a planning lot of, beforehand. A lot of planning Absolutely. and organization yeah. and running around and phoning people, sending emails, yeah. getting people to do things. And that, that's difficult. I mean, if it's a success, that means that you worked 
very hard. So I congratulate them both for yeah. being very uh, unselfish and opening their house to everybody. That was very kind of you. And, yes. and raising, uh, raising a handsome amount of money as well, actually, to, to go to the school. Excellent. Next year, I think we'll have more people attend. Very good. So Ben and Aiten, uh, as uh, Hakabe said, mm -hmm. it was sort of like your idea maybe to support uh, the over 18, the rehabilitation centre. Is that something that was close to your heart or how did you, why them so much? Well, I think um, I, I got asked, we got asked whether or not we, we, could, we can do something in our garden. Yeah. Uh, obviously I run it by my wife, <laughs> first and foremost, if she was happy to, to come along with the idea. And uh, I think because of our work in the UK, which is closely linked to the community, uh, we've worked a good part of 10 years working with in Haringey within the community, yeah. with the needy young, young people, uh, at risk young people, and w working closely with the needs of the community. So uh, have, having to work with the, uh, the 18 plus at need, need young people. Yeah. It was something that we, f we feel that we can give back to the community. We know that the money is going to go to a good place, all the money that, that, that we raise. Yeah. And I mean, it's not easy to organise any event, never mind a garden party. Mm. It might sound something very simple, but do you think that your expertise in this field back in the UK has helped you to organise something like this Absolutely. here? Yeah. I mean, what do you think, Aiten? Do you think Definitely. that you, know, you have all this experience behind you, that yeah. you know what to do, how to plan things right. while they're delegate. time? And how to yes. delegate. Yes. <laughs> how to delegate is very important. Yes, absolutely. And that's actually what Rotary is about as well, yeah. isn't it? Because I remember in my meetings when we were uh, Rotary actors that we all had a duty to do. Yeah. Exactly. And then we all had to report back the next meeting. Right. You know, yeah. How far have you got? Yeah. Have you done this? You know, have we found sponsors? Have we found a venue? Have we found... If someone's performing, have you spoken to the person? I think the main thing that we need to be focused is the teamwork. And that's one of the things that has really attracted me about the Rotary. Yeah. Um, I have, in England, the work that I did, you know, no one person, no single organisation can ever tackle the problems on their own. And it had to be a unified, uniformed force mm -hmm. um, where people would be aware of their own responsibilities, their own areas of accountability and their passion that goes into it. And I found that within the Rotary Cosmopolitan, I have to say. Um, it is, like Ben said earlier on, a, a group of like-minded people who all want to give back to the community. Yeah. Um, the whole ethos of the Rotary right. is service right. above self. And the people all come with different skills, different backgrounds. Yeah. Our previous year's president, Gultach, um, her son is an amazing, I think you're, she's probably one of the forces that you have to deal with in the committee. <laughs> amazing energy, amazing yeah. amount of yeah. um, passion towards doing things for the community. It, it just, yeah. it's, you know, in, infectious almost. Yeah. So we have this group of people that put together all their skills, all their knowledge, all their abilities, all their contacts, and it's about coordinating it and bringing it together. And having fun along the way is um, the added bonus, as far as I'm concerned. So, like Mr. Hagger said, we do <clears throat> a lot of activities. We try and make it fun. We try and make it affordable. We try and raise money. And we want to make sure that it goes to a good cause. Yeah. And it does. Of course it does. And the last concert, as we said, uh, was going to a very good cause and aimed at maybe a more younger Absolutely. Uh, audience. Absolutely. Because, you know, concerts, most of the time, not being ages here, but, you know, most concerts are aimed at the younger generation. And so with this, you're also putting your name out there for the younger generation. And, and not only did we put our name out there, but it's the younger generation stepping up yeah. and saying, you want to do this event? Use my venue. I'm not taking anything. I will perform either for free or at a very reduced price. The stage, people will bring up reduced price. Everybody stepped in. Everybody, yeah. Everybody yeah. wanted yeah. to do yeah. something because they know that it's going to go for the needy young people. Yeah. Um, and I think that is a really good success. Um, and everyone that attended the concert have come there, they're enjoying themselves. And it's for a good cause. Yeah. So. so garden party and then concert. 
What else do we have lined up? I mean, is there anything else in the pipeline that we can maybe mention to our viewers now that's coming up? Or are we having a break now for the summer? Well, we, we have uh, beach cleans. That's right. That beach cleans? Yeah. Beach cleans. So yeah. we gather at a certain beach and clean it up. So I, we've done it once, I think, and it will probably come up again. We should be doing another one. Another That's one. Right. Yeah. So we will we will decide that soon, and maybe do that in in June or uh, July, depending on uh, how many people we can get to right. uh, volunteer to do it. But uh, uh, we we uh, collect food at yeah, the food meetings. Banks. Few things and. Uh, we support a retired person who is in need or give it to FCAF to right. be distributed to people in need. In need, yeah. Um, we have actually contributed to a centre on the other side, which is the Skaragion uh, Cancer Centre. Mm -hmm. And clubs from Turkey also contributed to that. Uh, it's a, a special medical... Uh, treatment and diagnostic unit for uh, cancer, especially for children. So Turkish Cypriots will also benefit from that. Right, and okay. we, we, I think we contributed in the region of 5,000 uh, euros to that mm -hmm. center ourselves. Excellent. So, I mean, and, and we support other clubs, joint, joint projects, yeah. amongst other things, bottle tops are collected. Oh, yeah, the plastic bottle top. We we give it to uh, for the wheelchair. For the wheelchair. Right. Yeah, that's the wheelchair. right. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. many things that are going on. She, uh, Aitanana mentioned uh, Gültaş's son, the ex-president. Uh, she's the 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 dynamo of the club. <laughs> I can is. tell you that she's Margaret Thatcher, Indira Gandhi, <laughs> and Golda Meir, all rolled into one. She's very <laughs> forceful. She's amazing. She really is. Yeah. Energetic. Yeah, you need something like that to, yeah. to, to drive you. She, she mm. goes uh, out of her way to help each yeah. and every one of us. That's right. She's, yeah. she's very good and uh, we need somebody like that. That's right. Well, you're all doing a great job here. I mean, you know, everyone, a, a, a good team is only as weak as the person who is the weakest in that the team. The, 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 the person, yeah. person who is strong drives the team. Yep. So I'm sure you've all got your own important roles within the group right. Uh, right. To, to bring it higher and up into the, to the public eye. I mean, you mentioned these, these cleanups and these events. I mean, if I hadn't heard about uh, when Iten shared this poster with me, um, about the concert, I wouldn't have heard about it. Right. How do we follow you? Where are you on social media? Are we, you, do you have a we're website? On, we're on Facebook. You're on, we're on Facebook. Facebook. So we look up for the uh, the Rotary Club of Kyrene right. Cosmopolitan. Everything is there. And the Cyprus scene, you know, the English paper. On yes, the yes. Mm -hmm. They also have our events there as uh, well. A newsletter. We'll go yeah. On the, and on the and, Cyprus and hopefully next year we're going to apply for a grant from Rotary International. Okay. Uh, I don't think any club in the north has been successful in getting a grant from Rotary International you up to be. now. But we hope to manage to get that grant together with, we will have the other clubs yeah. join, join as well. Yeah. And we, we hope to do it. Um, the, the best example is the Lebanese uh, Rotary, Beirut. Yeah. They managed to get three million US dollars. Wow. For a... Uh, a project of providing clean water for the schools. Ah, yeah. Very important. Very important project for them. And, and, and we hope with the 18 plus school in Karakum yeah. to develop that school to be uh, a 24 hour school. Because what happens is the children go there during the day and then they're not there at night. They're sent home. They're, they're, they're sent some don't have a home. Or wherever they some Well, they go. I, mean, I mean, one of them apparently slept in one of the, the coaches that was <gasps> there. It, it's, so it, we need to be able to provide exactly a we, home for them uh, at the school? At the school, sort of permanent lodging. Is there room there? For, can, can you there, make? There's, there's room, it can, and it can be added. If yeah. we manage to get this grant, then we can do this and we can get... Now, that'll be a great Teachers as well, because Absolutely. they need, yeah. they need yes. teachers as well. Mm -hmm. We don't have qualified no. special needs teachers. Um, I think there is a legislation that hasn't gone through in the government yet. 
uh, um, that would support in the payment yes. for the salary of these. Yeah. Um, and currently, with the money that we raised, um, or part of the money that was raised at the mm. half marathon, we've managed to get, excuse me, <clears throat> we've managed to get a teacher for one day a week, which is totally insufficient. Yeah. Um, and if, if we can get sort of like the government to actually pay for the teachers, then the funding that we can raise can go for other things. Like Mr. Muftasada said, we could develop the yes. centre, make yes. it more yes. um, accommodating, more user friendly yeah. um, and, and more appropriate for special needs young right. people. Well, it seems like there's a lot to be done yeah. still. Even though you're working very, very hard, there's still a lot of work to be uh, completed before you have all your projects, you know, Absolutely. take that off, take that off, you yeah. know, one by one. But thanks to, uh, you know, people like you, uh, helpful, kind-hearted, hard-working people like yourselves and your group of friends, uh, you know, you're all doing a great job. I mean, we have to mention there are lots of Rotary Clubs, lots of Rotarians, uh, lots, of, lots of Rotaracts um, around the world and in Cyprus, so find a, a group that suits you or the nearest group, and the one that's, you know, multilingual or even bilingual, Turkish and English, is uh, the, the Rotary Club of uh, Cosmopolitan in uh, Kyrenia. And basically, come along and join them, meet them at uh, one of their meetings, and that's the second and fourth Saturday in every month at the Merritt Mer Park. Merritt Park Hotel, yes. Right, and what time do you meet? 2.30 in the afternoon. 2.30, so get there we, about 2 o'clock. <laughs> 2.30 they can come to the meeting. If they want to join a fellowship lunch, we have lunch at 1 o'clock uh, at the, uh, the main dining room. So right. they can ask for the Rotarians there and come and have okay. lunch as well. Fantastic. I want to say thank you very much for coming in today to share your news with us. And I wish you all the best for future events. Thank you. And please keep us, in, keep us informed. We'll have to follow you uh, on Thanks social media. That'd be nice. And, uh, you know, maybe you can come down and give us a talk. Why not one day? Yeah. Who knows? Be I'm, I'm, I'll, be I'll be honoured. Yeah. I'll be honoured. I'll be honoured, Ben. Thank you very much. But thank yeah. you for coming today and for joining yeah. uh, us in this conversation and for really, you know, putting. Uh, the, 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 the club on the map for everyone because right. we need to know that you're out there. Yeah. The main thing, I think, in, in, especially in North Cyprus, is that we uh -huh. need to hear about these events. You need to saturate everyone with the media, with what's going on. The more people who hear about you, the more you yeah. can get help and the more that you can get your projects up and running That's and right. realised in the future. And hopefully you'll get that grant from uh, we'll Rotary International. We'll try very hard. We'll, we'll benefit from the experience of the Beirut Rotary Club. Yeah because they're experts in filling up the, the forms. All the paperwork. All, all the paperwork. Yeah. But, but, but That's difficult. To, you have to know. I'm sure Ben and Iten can help you with that, with all I the know. paperwork they had to I do know. back <laughs> in Harringa. I'm, sure. yeah. I'm sure, yes. <laughs> but uh, once again, thank you for all that you are doing. Thank you. We applaud you, <laughs> and we wish all the best for all the events that you do in the future. So give my regards back to the rest of the other members of uh, the, uh, the club. And thank you, Hakkabe, Aiten and thank Ben. You. Thank you for inviting and us. Hopefully, yeah. yes, you're more than welcome. And hopefully see you again in the future with updates Definitely. about what's going on. That would be lovely. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. And with that, we've come to the end of our couple of conversation with members and also the current president of the Rotary Club of Cosmopolitan Kyrenia. And if you want to join, they are welcoming, they are happy, and you'll be doing a great service to the community here in the TRNC and elsewhere. But thank you for watching, and until next time we meet, have a great week. Bye-bye.